Hello and welcome back to another video where I will help you in creating um, or installing Shopify wishlist. So let's get started. Um, first go to Google, write down Shopify, click on first link and enter your email address, start free trial. Choose your store name, I'll go to Sald and then go to next. Now I'm just starting. Go to next and online store, social media. So, yeah, that looks good. Choose your country, region, and choose your account. If you don't have, you can still create another account. Okay, it is redirecting us to the page. Okay, so this is the page where our Shopify account page will look like. What we have to do is to go to apps on left corner and click on it. Write down wish list plus. Now all apps will appear regarding wish lists, but we're gonna choose wish list plus, which is this one. Now, if you're gonna click on it, <clears throat> you'll scroll down and you will see the plan you can pay. Or it is totally free you can also see reviews and read them it is a huge five-star reviews so let's just install that add app and it will redirect us to another page where we can install the app to our Shopify store so here we go install app It is going to redirect us to another page where where we can just write our name and email address. I'll go with Zal99 Design and continue. Now start the plans. Um, I'll go to free. Okay. So let's go to the next page where we're gonna customize the pattern of our wish list. So here is okay, I'll go with the anyone, maybe this one or yeah, so I'll go with this one. Now choose where you want it to appear bottom left mm, all right maybe and name it I'll name it as something else which is Zaldwish list and change the color of it I'll go with dark blue you can see it over there and let's continue one more step choose one of them you can see it on right this is changing I'll go with this one and change the color of it also I'll again go with dark blue and one more step um, let's you can add also logo and let's just finish that up okay now we are back to the normal page where we can find so many options but we are not able to use it as it is a free plan. Let's go back to Shopify page and uh, we will go to we will go to products to create our own product actually. 
yes over here and add your product or you can find your own but for now i will add it just to show you so the title whatever your product is i'm gonna just write poster and let's add media okay and the price i'll set it as 500 and the compare price is 1000 now if i will say it is 500 then there is no profit so it should be the price of 300 so my profit will be 200 you can also see the location of the shop how many shops you have and weight country and region let's select country and region and select pakistan probably you cannot see it okay pakistan now let's just go and save it it will save our one and first product now this page will appear that's how project looks like go to online store and click on this icon and that's our home page how it looks like go to catalog and that is our project you can see whatever price we wrote so we'll click on it and let me show you now you can see add to wish list icon the one we created now we can just click on it and it will go to our shopify wish list now if you go back to shopify there are more uh, we can say options if you go to home if you go to customers you can you can see everything regarding your customers and you can do analytic where all your products if they are sold out if the any visitors average and so on reports all report of sales acquisitions profit so many stuff to help you out in analytic or reports live view you can also you know do a live view of your products or visitors and that's it for today's thank you for watching hope to see you next time in another video